You probably think of water as something familiar, oceans, rain, rivers, maybe your morning coffee. But what if I told you that the largest body of water ever discovered isn't on Earth? It's in space. And it's not a lake, a planet, or a frozen moon. It's a giant cloud of water vapor, floating 12 billion light years away, and it's holding more water than 140 trillion Earth oceans combined. Yes, you heard that right. In 2011, a team of astronomers from NASA and Caltech announced something that rocked the astrophysics community. Using the Keck Observatory in Hawaii and the Z-Spec instrument at the Caltech Submillimeter Observatory, they detected signs of water vapor around a very distant quasar named APM 08279 plus 5255. This quasar isn't your average space object. It's one of the brightest and most energetic objects in the universe, powered by a supermassive black hole that's 20 billion times more massive than the Sun. And this quasar is located about 12 billion light years away. That means the water we detected is ancient, it formed when the universe was less than 1.6 billion years old, just a fraction of its current age. We tend to think of space as cold, empty, and dry. But water, especially in vapor form, is more common than you might think. Water molecules can form in regions where there's enough dust, heat, and chemistry, especially around energetic objects like quasars, stars, and black holes. But here's what makes this discovery mind-blowing. The water cloud around this distant quasar contains enough water to fill Earth's oceans 140 trillion times. That's a one with 14 zeros after it. It's the largest and most distant reservoir of water ever detected. This isn't a lake or a planet made of water, it's a giant cloud of warm water vapor surrounding the supermassive black hole at the center of the quasar. And we're not talking about a few droplets. This cloud stretches across hundreds of light years and is heated to about minus 53 degrees Celsius, cold by Earth standards, but warm enough in interstellar terms to emit detectable radiation. The water molecules absorb and emit specific frequencies of light, called spectral lines, and that's how scientists were able to detect them from so far away. It's like a fingerprint, and water leaves a very recognizable one. First of all, this discovery proves that water was already widespread in the early universe. This is huge, because it means the elements and conditions needed for life, hydrogen, oxygen, and complex chemistry, were in place billions of years before Earth even formed. It also gives us insight into how galaxies evolve. The quasar itself is feeding on a massive amount of gas and dust, and this water cloud may be fueling star formation, or being ejected outward by intense radiation from the black hole. In other words, this isn't just a cool trivia fact, it's a window into the early stages of galactic evolution. One of the wildest questions is, why is this water cloud so big? Here's one theory, the black hole at the quasar center emits tremendous energy, in the form of X-rays and infrared radiation. This radiation heats the surrounding gas to the point where molecules like H2O can form and survive. So instead of destroying water, the black hole's energy is actually helping it exist in massive quantities. And since quasars tend to pull in, and heat up, enormous volumes of interstellar material, it makes sense that something this extreme would also produce extreme quantities of water. It's like a cosmic humidifier. On steroids. Water is fairly common in our solar system, it's found on icy moons like Europa, Enceladus, and Ganymede, in the form of ice and even subsurface oceans. There's also water vapor in the atmospheres of some planets and comets. But nothing, and I mean nothing, comes even close to the scale of the cloud around this quasar. The water in our entire solar system, including Earth, is a rounding error compared to what's floating out there 12 billion light years away. Let's be real, this cloud is unimaginably far. Even traveling at the speed of light, it would take 12 billion years to reach it. So no, we're not harvesting it anytime soon. But scientifically? It's priceless. It shows us that the building blocks of life, especially water, existed long before Earth, before our Sun, and before most galaxies as we know them. And that means the potential for life elsewhere in the universe has been there for a very, very long time. When we look up at the night sky, we often think of stars, darkness, and silence. But floating out there in the distant cosmos is a massive cloud, not of stardust or gas, but water. Real, detectable, measurable water, enough to drown a hundred trillion Earths. It's humbling. It's awe-inspiring. And it's proof that the universe is far stranger, and far wetter, than we ever imagined. And if there's that much water out there, what else could be hiding in the dark? Thanks for watching, and if this blew your mind, wait until you hear what's happening on planets that rain glass sideways. Stay curious.